everyone. So today I'm going to do a hair product review video. And if you can hear lawnmowers going in the background, there are a lot of people out mowing today. It's a really nice day, including my husband. So I'm going to try to like stop when the mower's like right next to the windows, but all right, let's jump into this video. So this first product, it's pretty much empty. I love 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 this product okay so this one i got from sally's beauty i think i paid like 11.99 or 12.99 or something like that for it a little bit more than what i spent at tj maxx so this is generic value products brand and this is the conditioning shampoo and apparently you can compare it to Clairol Shimmer Lights Original Conditioning Shampoo. So this product is supposed to take away the yellow, add sparkle and shine, and yada yada. I use this all the time. I love it. Um, and it is purple, purple shampoo. This foams and lathers really nicely. It smells really good. I'm just in love with this. I'm actually thinking of picking up a new one because this is almost empty and comparing it with this that I just got at TJ Maxx, I paid $9.99 for this one. This is Findlay Professional Hair Care Bye Bye Brash Purple Shampoo. This one, it smells all right. It does not lather. Like no matter how hard I try, it doesn't lather like a shampoo. I don't know if it's not supposed to, I mean, if any of you hair care experts know, let me know in the comments down below if it's not supposed to lather. I just feel like it's not cleaning my hair properly. I feel like it's gonna leave my hair greasy. It's just not gonna work. I am gonna continue to use this though because it is, it's is—it's not bad otherwise, but I'm not gonna repurchase this. I'm probably gonna repurchase this. Once this is all gone, I'll be using this again. I just, I like the lather. I feel like it gets my hair clean. I feel like this one is probably not cleaning my hair like it should be. So moving on to another product. Okay, so yeah, this product is a eh, not really. Wouldn't repurchase it, gonna finish it, but wouldn't repurchase it. This one is a definitely repurchase. I do recommend this one. So this one is another one that I recommend. This is by, I guess the, it is called Blonde Brilliance. Yeah, the Ultimate Blonde Experience Temporary Color Care Ash Blondes Lathering Toner. And it's extra strength. It's got no parabens or sulfates in it. This, I love. It lathers. <laughs> it lathers really, really nicely. It feels like it's cleaning my hair. It tones my hair. It actually adds like color, like purples and blues into my hair when I use it. I love this. Um, yeah, I have repurchased this. This is my second bottle. Um, definitely gonna repurchase again. I believe it was around $9.99, $10.99, something like that. I did purchase this from Sally's. So these two were from Sally's Beauties and I really recommend them. I love these. This one was from TJ Maxx don't really recommend. Um, I didn't really like anything that I got from TJ Maxx, to be honest. Like, I kind of feel like um, that's why they were there. I don't know. But go, moving on to a product that I hate. Um, this, ooh, it's still wet. This is, I don't even know what the brand name is. I don't know why it's got green on it but this just says blondes with keratin color toning purple conditioner blonde perfector okay it probably like um tones really well like yeah but um so this doesn't really feel like i when i'm in the shower it when i put it in my hair i don't feel like it's doing anything like I just feel like it's sitting on my head doesn't feel conditioning at all like any of my other conditioners it actually feels like a conditioner like white rain or some crappy conditioner like that um the smell is all right I don't mind the smell but then 
when I get out of the shower, like it does condition. Like, let me tell you, I can run a brush through my hair, but it is so greasy. And I feel like I have to use so much to even condition it when I'm in the shower. And then I get out and it's so, so greasy. Like I go to, to um, brush and dry my hair and it just dries like, I don't know. It's like adding volume. It's adding unneeded moisture to my hair, but like sticky, tacky moisture that I don't like at all. And I actually, last night, <laughs> I actually went and I washed, rewashed my hair with the shampoo and then I put a regular conditioner in because I could not stand the way it felt. This, definitely getting rid of, not using, probably gonna give it away to somebody because I feel really bad throwing away an $8.99 full bottle of conditioner. I used it twice, twice. Um, so yeah, this, don't recommend, don't buy it, I hate it. Um, moving on to the last one, I had such high hopes for this because I love Eva NYC. I love the um, the hair primer, the like 10 in one hair primer. I love it. It smells amazing. It, it puts like, I don't know, like it makes my hair soft and shiny and just feels amazing. This feels just like this. Greasy, greasy, puts texture in my hair where I don't need it, puts volume in my hair where I don't need it, makes it like sticky, tacky. I just don't like it. Now, the first time I used it, I, I used it with this. Actually, the first and the second time I used it, I used it with this. Did I? Yes. And I don't know if that was the reason it felt like that, but then I looked up reviews and I actually put it on my hands yesterday, like after I rewashed it and went like this, just to kind of feel, and it did feel greasy on my fingers, so I'm scared to like put it in my hair, but I probably will give this one more chance. Won't use as much as I used before, probably like a dime size amount, and then just really work it through my hair. I'll try it one more time. Um, but anyways, this is Eva NYC Tone It Down Blonde Leave-In Foam. And it says Caravis, Caravis, I don't know what that means. Plus argan oil, plus violet pigments. It's supposed to neutralize brass, enhance shine, and restore strength to natural or color treated blonde hair. So it's probably doing all that. I didn't notice a shine. Actually, like these two products like made my hair very dull. I actually put in some of the Eva NYC primer in my hair last night, which gave it the shine and the bounce back to it. So I, I don't know. And I spent $6.99 on this and I kind of want to give it a second chance without the conditioner just to kind of like, um, just to kind of see Maybe I won't use it every time I wash my hair. Maybe I'll use it like once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. But I just feel bad throwing this away. It smells amazing too. I just, uh, I want to give it another shot because I love this company, but I don't know. So for me, this, 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 I'll use this, but this was a fail, this was a fail, and this was a fail. And I spent hmm, $15 or so on all of this. And I'm like, oh well, these are worth it. They're a little more pricey, but let me tell you, they work really well. Now what I need to do is I need to find a conditioner, purple conditioner that I like. And um, they had a more expensive one at TJ Maxx, but I don't know if I'm gonna go that route. I might just like see if I can find the, the, the conditioner in this or a conditioner from Sally's. Um, or if any of you have any conditioners that you recommend, any leave-in stuff that you recommend that's purple, um, I would love suggestions, but yeah. Um, these two products, love, recommend, definitely go out and buy these, and the other three, don't. <laughs> um, although I am gonna give this another shot, but I don't have high hopes for it, but yeah. And that is everything. If
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.